That's a 2016 Buick. It's a little cross. It's got a big engine. Oh, I'm sorry, it didn't pop the hood yet. But it's huge. Needs rear brakes and calipers. So this lady's been having a bit of a spell with this, we'll call it. This Buick here. The, uh, this rear caliper keeps locking up on it. As you can see by the white toasty marks, this brake gets really hot. Or maybe that just looks like regular rusty. Regular rusty is usually orangish, but when they get hot, usually the edge of the pads will get all ashy. They'll turn kind of this whitish color. Whitish, I said not actually white, but you know what I mean. And right now, mother lover. And right now it's a little bit seized, but not too bad. So we're gonna start by taking off the parking brake cable. And to do that, we gotta get the little clip off that holds it on. So you take that little fella off. And then we'll push, push, push on the lever. And maybe let's get a different pushing apparatus. Stick it in here. Get our cable to pop out of there. Usually they just slide right out. Come on, little cable. And then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Bow, bow, bow. There we go. And then push the rubber through. So there's your cable. Put your rubber back on. There's that. Grab yourself an 11 mm. We have an 11, probably. We do. Get a tray ready. And then we're gonna take off the, the crush washer on the inside. Grab that with a pair of pliers. Whoa, fella. They can be a stink pot sometimes. Come on, man. Because your new caliper, your Reman caliper, should come with new crush washers and uh, perhaps a new banjo bowl. We're going to save the banjo bowl just in case. And then the most controversial topic in the world. Ready? One, two, three, close your eyes. <gasps> I can't believe you did it. You pinched the hose. Now we need a 15, I'm thinking. But I have no idea where it is. Great. Raise your hand if you ever spent an hour, literally almost, looking for something that was literally right in front of your face the entire time. <laughs> I won't go into detail, but it was pretty bad. I found my 15 which is not stuck on this. <laughs> it was awful, folks. I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes I think I don't think. I think. I can't see back here. Where are we? Where are we there? Where are we at, little guy? There we go. Got them cracked loose. See if the old screamer will take them off. They got locked tight on them. Where are you?
Now grab yourself a pry driver. Oh, brush that shoulder off. We'll pry the caliper off if we can. Still left a, still left a screw in the rotor, huh? Put a wheel nut back on it so our rotor's not dancing around there. Mother of pearl! So we got her off. There it is. Now we can peel the rotor off. Clean up the hub face here. Now there's only two spots that need to be cleaned up. The very outside of the uh, hub and then the very inside. The middle here is not so important because the rotor doesn't touch there. Just FYI, these are slightly raised. We'll give her a little two to some fluid film, keep her from getting so rusty. And then we'll grab our new rotor. We'll slip that baby right on there, like so. Pardon my reach. We'll grab our rotor screw. And we will torque that down to 89 inch pounds. Or just a real light snug a dug a torque setting number one on the impact. <laughs> Exercise trigger control. Whoa, right there, that's it. That's 89 around the money. You can tell by the sound. Then we're gonna take a hanky. A fresh one. A clean one. Douche her down with some of the good stuff. Oh yeah. We're gonna wipe her off inside and out some packing oils off there there we are so we'll pop our caliper part use your classic 13 mil Set that little guy to the side. We'll make sure the rebuilder put grease in the caliper pins. You'd be surprised. Sometimes they don't or they're very sparing. Probably just touch them just a little bit. And I've taken these things out before too where they're just solid rust. <laughs> That one's pretty good. We'll probably just put a dab of silicone grease there. Some super lube on this pin just to be on the safe side. We got any left in this container? We do. We'll just use a little silicone grease here. Like I can see this one doesn't look too bad. Now it's pretty slippery. All right, so there's those. We'll grab some other grease here and we'll grease up behind our clips even though these brackets are painted. We'll try to do every measure we can to keep the rust down. So we'll put some steel ceramic on here. Be 
and all the hardware. Like I said, this is more just for rust prevention than anything. We'll stick our clips on. Now the pad with the squealers on it, we're gonna stick on the outside. If you put them on the inside, the squealers hit the bottom of the bracket, or at least this style pad does with the double squealers. These things can be a bit of a pisser, so I'm gonna make sure that they fit this way first of all. And I'll check each ear. That way there, when you're sitting here struggling with it for the next 10 minutes, you know it has the ability to fit. <laughs> Cause you gotta get just so. I'm gonna have to go get my glasses. I'll slip in that one. Come on, baby. The, har the hardware has just enough of a pinch on it. Oh, <laughs> slipped right past. Had her in and she slipped right out. That is not the first time. There we go. On this one we're gonna go. I find it easier. Get her on the inside like that. That way I can see and you can push that little piece of hardware down and pop her up like that. So there she is. Easy peasy. Grab some more grease. Grease up our ears. face of the caliper here that's going to prevent squeaking noises and we'll also do the piston face now the orientation of this piston doesn't matter as far as notches on the piston it does with some uh, you know screwing calipers because the inner pad will have a, a notch on it that you need to line up in this instance it doesn't so we'll shut that in a little Screws already have Loctite on them. Like that. I'm gonna give them a very light snug a dugger. Okay. Find a torque wrench here. Found it. Grab the appropriate size wrench for the inside here. If you have one thin enough, I don't. So I grabbed a pair of uh, metric needle nose vice grips. Just need to be able to hold that pin, not a big deal. We'll snug her up. Same thing on this side. There we are. Now we go stick this little guy on and we'll be good to go. Where's our bolts at? Here's our bolts. So we've got these little guys. Make sure you put new ones in and get, uh, get yourself some Loctite. slip the caliper up on there. Probably should have made sure it's the right caliper. Oh, lucky us it is. Bleeder's in the right spot anyways. Get that bolt started. Feels like it is. This one we gotta do by feel. There's that one. This little fella. Where you at? So, hey, quit beeping. Get the top one here. Easy. And we'll 
jam this guy down. We're gonna go 74 pound feet of torque initially. There's step one. Probably I'll tighten the bottom one too, I guess. So there's that. Now we need to go another 60 degrees. Just gotta hold our torque wrench still here while it calibrates. There it is. Now we're gonna spin her another 60 degrees. Get hooked on there. Ready, one, two, three, go. There's that one. And that puts it at 138 foot pounds, at least on that bolt. Let's hook on to this one. Get this one another 60 degrees. Almost had it. Oh, I might say we're about 58. 142.7. Put that on that one. So that's that. You're pretty much done. Except you're not. You almost are, but you're not. Get your new banjo. You don't necessarily need a new one. Let's get your banjo. Get a couple new aluminum washers on there. Get her lined up. Oh, she's not 11 anymore. It's 12. And that one fell in. We'll get our spec wrench here. Makes everybody happy. They can't complain about us if we do this much. We're even a torque man. Who torques banjo bolts? Huh? This guy does. Just keep going way beyond what you think it should be. Put it at 30 foot pounds. Unhook your comment generator. Stick your cable back in the hole. If you can. And I can. And I did. Put your metal clip on. Did, did I get it or did I click it right above the groove? You did it wrong. Wow. Here's a guy who's half blind. Let's see if I can get it this time. Oh, we're in the right slot that time. And look at that, the cable fell right in place. Must be living right, folks. You must be living right. Take your bleeder cap off if it has one. If it doesn't, make sure you take the one off the old caliper like we did. And then uh, crack her loose, let her gravity bleed. It starts dripping out of there. Make sure it moves back and forth, and it does. And then we just need to wait for it to start gravity bleeding, and then we'll pump up the brakes and bleed it for realsy. That's pretty well that. This is kind of an easy one because we got new calipers. Are you ready, young lady? Uh huh. Okay. Go ahead and push down. Let up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. There we got some fluid there now. Let me just make sure the other side's good. Hold on. Push down. There we go, now we got fluid. Let up. And one more time down. There we go, steady fluid out there. Okay, go ahead and let up. I just had to make sure the other side was all good. I want to keep pumping it. Uh, if you leave a lot of air in the system, you start pumping the brakes. Uh, it kind of whips it up, gets real foamy, makes it a pain to bleed out. Uh, how's it feel, this? Feels good. Good? Um, you see the parking brake lever in there? Mm, button. Oh, it, no. Should be electric. Should be electric. It looks like a button to me. 
Oh, no, there's a button. Is it really electric parking brake? Yeah. I'll be dipped. I'll go ahead and push it, or pull it, I guess. Okay, release it. You know, you have to hold your foot on the brake and then push the button down. Oh, I probably got the key on. So take your foot off the brake. Push and hold the button in. Okay, keep holding. Oh. Oh, let off it now. Okay. You can screw up the sequence on the GMs. Let off the brake. Or and then push the button again to shut it off. Yeah, um, push the button again, it's still turned on. Okay. okay, now don't step on the brake, just push and hold the button. It takes it takes a little bit. To get it. Okay, now let go of the button, step on the brake, and push the parking brake lever down. Okay, that one released. Okay, I'll put the parking brake on. Okay, step on the brakes and push the button down. I'm just looking to see how much it squeezes each one of them. Okay, put the parking brake on again. Okay, release it. Wow, the electric parking brake, a solution to a problem we never had. <laughs> All right, you can go ahead and shut it off. By doing what? <laughs> don't, don't touch the brake and then hit the button. There you go, see? The push button start, another yeah. solution to a problem we never had. <laughs> You got it from the grocery store? Yeah, I got this. Isn't it great? I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's great. I and, love it. and it has pockets. Yes. Wow, that's wonderful. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Good. I'm glad that my wife enjoys shopping at the grocery store for her clothes. <laughs> it's totally justified, too, because it's part of the groceries. There you go. Hey, now we got to do it. <laughs> Make sure our fluid is between the min and the max mark. And it is, so there's the max mark on the side. We'll put a little bit in there because the front brakes look like they are almost brand new. So we're gonna top this off. I topped it off before we started bleeding, but it took a little more than I thought. Make sure you put your bleeder caps back on there if you haven't, and then of course, torque your wheel to factory specs all the way around both sides. Nobody likes your wheels coming off. All right, we'll go for a rip there around town. Make sure our parking brake works. Oh, yep, she works. As soon as you touch the gas, it goes off. Oh, wow. All right. Happy days. So that's it folks, uh, rear pads, rotors, calipers on your Buick LaCrosse. Pretty easy job. Um, nothing really too special or different about this than any other one. Um, so that's it. And why don't you be special and different and go in that comment section down there. Leave me a question in the comments. Find me on the Insta, the Facebook. You guys know what to do. Just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.